What it is guys, it's Shidano. We're back again with another comparison video and this one is for Final Fantasy VII's Crisis Core Reunion that just recently dropped on Tuesday of this week. As of recording, I'm talking about the 13th. It is a very good game. It is available on Xbox, PlayStation, Switch and PC. And for the purpose of this comparison video, we'll be starting off with the Xbox version I have both the Series X and the PlayStation 5, and this is recorded using the Ava Media 4K Ultra, and it records at 4K and it does 30, but I do pass through with 60 and I can upscale it to to um do 60 through some little magic and stuff. It takes me a while to do it, that's why this video has taken a while to come out. Now I have played both of these games quite a lot. I've been playing the Xbox version on stream because this is the copy that the lovely people over at Square Enix gave me. They gave me the Ultimate Edition one, the digital Ultimate Edition that they do for the Xbox. And I greatly appreciate that because I'm a Square Enix influencer and it's nice of them to show that support. It's one of those, but anyway, I digress. The um, we have the a play the gameplay playing right now, which is the opening intro, and that is where we are going to be analyzing the the, the main meat and potatoes of this comparison. Now, I've played both games quite extensively. I have a TV that uses 4K and it has HDMI 2.1. So I do get the highest possible resolution and stuff like that when I don't have it hooked up to my capture card, but I actually use a 4K HDMI 2.1 HDMI splitter, must be a pretty penny, to take all the 4K uh, signals in at the highest possible frequency and it splits them out. It gives me a HDMI out to the capture card and it gives me a HDMI out to my television. Now, the capture card that I use doesn't support HDMI 2.1, but it does support HDMI 2.0. So I get highest possible frame rates, best possible resolution, and it does support 1440p up to 120. It's a very, very good capture card. I do think it's one of the best ones out there. I definitely recommend using Ava Media. In my opinion, they are the best capture card company out there. I have used Elgato's in the past, and that's just my opinion. Now, for the comparison, I've used the opening sequence of the game, and I feel, in my opinion, that based on running the game on the Xbox, it does feel a lot smoother. It feels that the game doesn't have any like weird drops in resolutions or anything like that. The Xbox version does not have a option to run in either performance mode or or graphical fidelity mode. I do believe it's just at the maximum it can because it has a more powerful SOC than the PlayStation 5. But it is the comparison that I will give you guys. So for the purpose of this video, I will say that I did record the gameplay on the PlayStation 5 for the for the purpose of this video in both performance mode and resolution mode and i feel that the performance mode is the better one to run it in i don't know why it just seems like it's more stable and the purpose of the, of the video that's what you will be seeing i did record both and I made the creative decision to use what I felt was the best representation from both platforms to show off how the how the games run and don't forget guys to hit the like button and uh, check out all the links down in the description it's all down there for you guys to check out now as a Final Fantasy fan I don't care where I play Final Fantasy PlayStation Xbox PC I don't care I love playing Final Fantasy so I am in no way biased to which console is better or anything like that. I own them all. I personally feel that the Xbox SOC 
seems to run the game at a better resolution and a more stable frame rate that's obviously clearly apparent by the fact that it has a more powerful soc and it runs on the, the later hardware i think it's rdna2 which is what it's called and the playstation 5's soc uses this weird like hate rdna 1.2 1.5 thing because it's not true rdna2 and it's not rdna1 somewhere in between but they're both great experiences they're both a lot of fun to play i'm not saying that they've made a bad job of either or I feel that the quality of the gameplay speaks for itself. I feel that whether you're playing it on the PlayStation or the Xbox, you're the winner because you get to play a Final Fantasy game. I will say, however, in my opinion, I feel that the better experience is coming from the Xbox side. Now, you can take with that a pinch of salt or whatever you want it's just that's my perspective and it's a lot of my community's perspective now we have a variety of different platform players in my community we have people who play playstation we have people who play switch the people who play xbox and people who play only pc now i feel that this is a subjective thing now it's a comparison for you both to see there will be a review of the game coming out as well i do have a lot of content coming out real soon so make sure you ring a link that bell to stay notified for all the new stuff that we've got coming out i just feel that this is the playstation content now that the if you look at it closely you can see that some of the the text doesn't feel as crisp and when there is high movement on the screen from lots of enemies or lots of different artifacts moving at different different resolutions and stuff like that different frame rates it does feel like it's changing to try and balance and it seems like the console does have an issue balancing that act. i didn't notice that the console like got particularly loud or anything like that when i was playing it did seem to handle it like a champ but it again it is one of those where you guys have to make that decision for yourself i personally feel that whoever whatever platform you buy out of all the platforms available i would honestly prioritize the ninth gen consoles or pc if you are looking to play it mobile and on the go then switch is your option you will see a difference in the resolutions and the textures and stuff like that, obviously because the switch version has a lower power soc and can't do 4k and 120 and all that stuff but it is down to your personal preference as always with most game reviews and most experiences and comparisons i always try and cover that and make sure everyone is aware of where i stand on this i am not in any way paid to give positive review to either platform i feel that for me personally that the fact that playstation has exclusivity over final fantasy is the biggest injustice of all because as a content creator and a gamer i like to be able to play on any platform that i can I don't like being locked down into one specific um ecosystem i feel like the, the idea of locking a content creator or a gamer down to a specific ecosystem is in my opinion a bad thing because at the end of the day we should all be able to play where we want to play and how we want to play but that being said i know that a lot of people will have a very polarizing opinion on this one i know that some people will say xbox is the only place to play and some other people will say that playstation is the only way you should play the game it comes down to what you ultimately want to play and where your means are so don't let anyone ever tell you that you're playing on the wrong box or your box isn't the best box because it's the best box for you i feel that final fantasy is in this golden age right now 
we're getting more and more Final Fantasy games come out than ever. Square Enix are knocking out so many games right now, and it's absolutely crazy. I'm just happy to be a gamer right now. It's great that we're seeing all these different games come out. We've had so many different Final Fantasy games come out. We've had, we've got the new ones coming out next year. We've got Final Fantasy 16 in summer, and we have Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2, which is called Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth coming out in the winter and we've got Octopath Traveler it's just a great time to be a gamer yes it's going to hurt our wallets but it is one of those this is honestly one of those where the comparison for me is a clear one I feel that the Xbox version runs better it seems like it's more stable and it seems like it is it's just more polished in my opinion i know that there may be some differences of opinions i feel that the playstation does have a good does do very well don't get me wrong it has a very nice it does a very good job of playing the game and it does very well but i feel that the soc of the xbox is it is the best part of the the, the difference in the platforms the Xbox version seems to run, in my opinion, at a more stable frame rate and at a high resolution. But that's just my opinion. Again, you guys may have a difference of opinion, and I'd love to hear what you guys think. If you say if you think that the Xbox version seems to run better, or the PlayStation version runs better, or the PC version, or Maybe you are in this mindset that the Switch version is the best version. Let me know. I, I think that this is a, a great conversation that we could have both in the streams and in the, the comment sections. But it ultimately comes down to you as the gamer and where you feel it's best to play. I like the PlayStation console just as much as like the Xbox. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.